Disney Classic Games Aladdin and The Lion King is a very good port of the two retro games. The bundle has a pretty big price tag though, which will be the main reason why people aren't so eager into buying the bundle. At least now in 2021 it's still a little overpriced for what you get, even if the bundle is packed with quality stuff, but if you were to judge the game without its price tag, it's very good. I mean, a nice bundle. So imagine you don't have to pay for the game. You get two old school games, Aladdin and The Lion King. I grew up with the two games and maybe some of you did too, so the games have some emotional value. And they were and still are great games even now. They are difficult if you're playing them for the first time, as the characters many times blend in with the environment and you don't know which object is interactive and which is just a background, which makes the game require a lot of trial and error and makes it more difficult and you need to watch many guides on YouTube. But if you're into retro games, the games are a blast. As for the port, it's nice that you can change the way the game appears. You can play it in a square or stretch it to full screen, you can apply some filters if you want the image to be crisp, sharp or like an old TV. Also the game has a nice feature that sounded better in the trailer. The trailer says that you can watch the game play itself and jump in the game whenever you want. And you can do exactly that. Problem is, you can't let the game play itself anymore after you jump into it. I would have liked the ability to resume the game playing itself after I jumped into the game. But even so, the feature you get is still cool. And you can put the game where you would have wanted the game to continue in another game watch. You can start watching the game again, you can skip to the part where you want to resume and you can resume from, from there. So it's no tragedy. You can always resume the game from where you wanted to. You even get a level select menu and a cheat menu. You can use cheats. And I like the rewind feature. If you screw up, you can rewind your game. The bundle has attention to detail and you don't get just ROMs. You get multiple versions of the two games. You can say that you get three different playable versions of the two games. The Sega Genesis one and the Game Boy and Super Game Boy ones. And you get the Japanese versions and some tech demos of the two games. And you also get a Final Cut Edition. The Final Cut Edition is actually the game um, patched. The versions had some problems over the years in some parts of the games and the Final Cut fixes those parts. But you have the original one too, which is pretty cool. Also aside of the two games, you get behind the scenes footage, which adds some nice quality to the bundle. Overall. It's a great bundle. Overall, the bundle is great. You can see the attention to detail and care put into the compilation. It's like a collector's edition for the two games. But the price is still a little big in my opinion. Now, this is subjective. You've heard what the bundle contains, you're the judge. Just know that the bundle, without seeing anything about the price, is a gem. It's a collector's edition put together with a lot of care and you can see the quality in the bundle.